the policy directive with respect to the investigation uh, in the SSL matter, leaving no stone unturned. Secondly, to follow the evidence wherever it might lead. And third, to seek international help. And fourth, the government will provide whatever resources are required. She pop. P P P P P P K P S S P S What they do? Welcome to Crime Time News, where the difference is in the meds. Call it news with a buzz. Do you remember after that SSL debacle? Your Finance Minister, Dr. Nigel Clark. He came out and he said that they are going to do everything within their means to solve this crime and all of the guilty participants will be charged, will be sentenced to the fullest extent of the law. There will be no stones unturned. No evidence will be left out. They are going to seek international help. No resources or effort or manpower will be spared. They are going to give it everything that they got. People, you and I know that a promise is a comfort to a fool. You and I should have learned from history that you cannot listen to anything that these politicians say. You have to take it with a grain of salt at best. Well, people, guess what? Your finance minister made an announcement yesterday evening and he said that he has hired a firm called Crawl International. Forensic experts, they have signed a memorandum of understanding with the government of Jamaica through the finance minister. These people have 100 years of experience in forensic science. These people will assist the FID, MOCA, whomever, to make sure that they get to the bottom of this worst scam sham in the history of Jamaica. We are here today to signed with Kroll Associates UK, uh, a firm of, uh, a, a subsidiary of Kroll uh, International, which is a firm known for their forensic audit experience and expertise. Uh, this fraud, as I mentioned, and as the other members of, well, the executive director of the FID mentioned, is complex, complicated because of the length of time over which it was perpetrated. Kroll will bring uh, to the table in their assistance to FID uh, technology and the fraud squad, uh, technology and expertise that will enable the investigators to unravel every aspect of this fraud. So pretty much he was giving us a guarantee that this firm, if not the best, is one of the best that money can buy. With local authority, FID, MOCA and them, they are going to make sure that they unravel everything and everyone that is involved in this scam. Now, like me and most Jamaicans, we pretty much feel as if this thing is already swept under the rug. The eventual outcome is that nobody is going to go to jail. Nobody is going to get arrested. Nobody definitely will be held accountable. They will hope that Jamaicans, like the Jamaicans in the past, get S-C-R-E-W-E-D over royally. And then they just forget about it. People, they hired the best that money can buy. And why you think that is? Who you think is going to pay for this? 
it is going to be you and I, the taxpayers of Jamaica. Who do you think is not going to get bang for the buck? It is going to be you and I, the taxpayers of Jamaica. Who you think is not going to get their money back? Or if they do, it is going to be pennies on the dollar. It is going to be purses like Usain Bolt's and the other 9,000 purses that pretty much invested in a some sorts of Ponzi scheme, junk bonds, junk stocks, because that is all that SSL was selling. This was never any sorts of investment company. And if they were in over 10 years ago, they decided that this is going to be run like a full scale Ponzi scheme. They were not any sorts of wealth managers. They've not been managing anybody's wealth. If anything, they've been taking away from your wealth and adding to their wealth and their cronies, the people that pretty much facilitate, gave them the platform to do so, which includes your finance minister, your prime minister, your commissioner of Popo, your DPP, and all else that is involved, including PNP and now the ruling government, the JLP. Now, people, I am no expert on political mumbo jumbo, political terms. However, when we hear of a memorandum of understanding, that means that it is at least the first phase or a phase to say that yes we have spoken these are the terms of the contract there is going to be some sorts of contractual agreement there is going to be some sorts of money that is passed through wire transfer to this company from Jamaica when I say Jamaica, I am not speaking about the PNP, the finance minister or the prime minister himself. I am speaking about public purse. I am speaking about taxpayers' money. As a country that is poor, third world country, you would think that you would want to make decision, especially for someone that is supposed to be a financial genius. You would want to get the best result, yes. However, you would want to get the best of the best. If you have two options, option one, crawl, which is going to be very expensive at the expense of taxpayers. And you have the FBI, which is just as good, prob I would say better. Because they have experts that are working that went to these schools like MIT, Massachusetts, Institute of Technology. Schools like those that are technology, top of the top, at the top of the top, the best are the best like Miami. Don't know these people at Crawl? Obviously, they come with a hundred years experience. So therefore, they must be good their job or their reputation speaks for itself. But me just say, if you as Jamaica, a third world country, not a rich first world country, have the option of getting somebody that is just as good, on par, or even, I would say in my opinion, better, which would be the FBI, which would volunteer because they have an interest in it. Seeing that millions of US dollars were involved, seeing that they are representing the best interest not only for Jamaica, but their citizens who happen to be Jamaican naturalized US citizens. However, how or why did the government of Jamaica come to that decision? Let me psychoanalyze it. Do you think that they called the FBI and asked for assistance? Remember, there is a courting going on between the United States and China. United States realize that it seems as if Jamaica give a bond with China because it seems as if 
China is more on the terms of how Jamaica operate. Very corrupt, very crooked. So therefore, America would want to win back Jamaica or do whatever it takes. Meaning that put some sorts of stone upon them tongue, stone upon them H-O-O-D or whatever. Have more lyrics, have more charisma, have more charm. So therefore, if they get the opportunity to help out Jamaica, they are going to jump on it because they want to be in the favor of Jamaica. Not that they need anything from Jamaica. They just want to make sure that the opposition don't get the upper hand, especially when it comes to C-H-I-N-A. So people, my point is this. Jamaica had an option. Your finance minister said that the FBI are coming in. He made big, big announcement. There was all sorts of controversy. People have said, but hold on a minute. Oh, the FBI there and people not get locked up yet. People, the truth and the fact is that the government of Jamaica made a decision to go with crawl. And I am not saying that it is a bad choice. I am just saying that there was a better choice. There was a cheaper choice or a free choice. But you chose the choice that was more expensive and probably less experienced. Probably not as good. So therefore, there has to be some sort of reason. There has to be some sort of rational in which the relevant authority, meaning the finance minister, the government of Jamaica, Andrew Hollis, and his cronies, meaning the Crosskeries, the Hardings, and all that are involved with the SSL. We are speaking about the biggest scam or sham, the fraudmen in the history of Jamaica. And I am going to tell you why in my opinion. When it comes to that company crawl, they are being paid by Jamaica. Not saying that they are not going to use their hundred years of expertise and their wizardry as it pertains to forensic auditing. However, them can stop at certain things. Them can tell them, say, listen, you know why I'm going to them file it. Leave them file it alone. Do your job and point in a certain direction. Don't just have your radar a scan all over the place. They can put limitations to what these people can do. Can your finance minister, Nigel Clark, come out and make an announce, announcement and say, that is not so. Say that they have an open check to go wherever the investigation leads them. I don't think that that is so. I think that because and when you are getting paid, because you want to get your balance and want to get that final deposit, you are going to do everything to make sure that your customer is happy. The customer comes first. The customer gets exactly what it wants, even if it is not in the best interest of your customer which is actually Jamaica however we are represented we are managed by some people that are not up and up so therefore whatever they want is what they are going to get because of the fact that they are the ones that are the signatures on these check which you and I pay taxpayers out there in a Jamaica people who live in a Jamaica and internationally once you are doing any sorts of business, once you have any sorts of property, once you do anything and pay any sorts of tax, you are also contributing to these people getting paid. Some just as say, they can more manipulate, put this company upon a string like a puppet upon a string. When it comes to the FBI, you can't give them no sorts of talk. They are doing everything by the book. They are going to expose whoever, not forget expose, anybody that is involved in any sorts of way, be it big or small, them all get exposed, them name I got call. It is going to be like a free for all, any and everything I get scoped up in the net of corruption. Do you think 
that that is what Jamaica wants. Based on how you see Jamaica operating, do you think that they would ever give the FBI a open check for just do whatever they want to do and arrest and trap and trap put everybody in the net of corruption that exists? They are not going to do that. The thing is this. When Nigel Clark made that announcement and said that we are going to do everything within our means. No stones will be left unturned. We are calling in the FBI and we are calling in some expert overseas. We are in speaking some sort of agreement. Now you see said that memorandum of understanding was made. These people are here based on the voice notes that is out, based on what we heard. Them there, they are here for the long haul. They are here to get to the bottom of whatever needs to get to the bottom of. So therefore, them there, what are the terms of the agreement, what they can go through, what they can expose, that is up to what the finance minister, Andrew Holness, and his crony, his minions, want to get exposed. Is this in the best interest of Jamaica? Will we actually get bang for our buck? Get exactly what we pay for? Because at the end of the day, what we want, we want to get the criminals off of the street. We want to expose them. We want to make sure that they will never ever get the chance to do it once again. But people, we see exactly where this is headed. When it comes to the FBI... And this is based on an interview that I watched on Wayne Lonesome's channel. And a man with 30 years experience as a FBI, top FBI agent. His name is Ratigan. He said it. He said the FBI don't and more than likely won't be working with any sorts of private company. The FBI will not take any sorts of back seat. The FBI will not turn any sorts of blind eye. Once the FBI are involved, whoever is involved in a the thievery, they are going to get exposed. So therefore, you can't tell the FBI, say, this one and that one can be got. However, this one and that one must be forgotten. It no work like that. It should not work like that. That is not how justice goes. However, you and I and all well-thinking Jamaican that know how Jamaica run. I am not speaking about you sheepers, those blind folks that it seems as if they have their head up in their ASS so deep. It seems as if they are on their knees B-L-O-W-I-N-G and Jehovah's and the rest of corrupted people including Nigel Clark, including the DPP, them not see nothing none at all, all when it is clear in front of their eyes to see them blind. They are so brainwashed, their mind is warped, they are so a part of this corruption. So therefore, that is why Jamaica is the way that it is. Because even the people them, we can see them mute. But me just I say, who does not want the best of the best if you have an option? Why wouldn't you get something that is cheaper? The fact that you are broke. Why what would you want to go the most expensive, less effective way? People, that is because they have ulterior motive. Their motive, which is ulterior, and our motive, our reasons to want to get to the bottom of it is different. Is because we want a better Jamaica. They want a Jamaica that is best for them and their friends. Point blank and period. So anyways people, thanks once again for checking out my video. If you appreciate videos like this, please show your appreciation by liking, commenting, sharing and subscribing to my channel. That is how YouTube promotes videos like these to like-minded, sensible persons like yourself. Bless up.